I'm Jennifer McIntyre, a spokesperson for the Institute of Food Technologists, and today we're going to be talking about milk. Now, most people know that milk comes from a cow. Cows are animals. And when the milk comes out of the cow, a lot of times it has some bacteria in it, generally very harmless. But on occasion, there can be some harmful bacteria in milk. And for that reason, the milk is heated. That's called pasteurization. We have regular pasteurized milk. That's been heat treated in order to kill those harmful bacteria. There are still some bacteria in there, just very, very low levels. And so it is important that you keep this milk refrigerated. The expiration date is usually there. And um, if you, as soon as you open the milk, you have about a week or so because those bacteria will begin to multiply once you open the cap, expose them to the air. You can also find ultra pasteurized milk Sometimes people can taste the flavor. It's been heated to a higher temperature, cooked a little bit more, has a, a little bit more of a cooked milk flavor. Um, again, once you open the cap, the clock does start ticking. So while it's important to keep this milk refrigerated and you can see that it lasts a bit longer, once you open that cap, again, some bacteria just that are in the air around your house can get in, they can start to grow. Now more recently, a lot of people have taken an interest in raw milk, that's milk that's not treated. This year alone, there have been six outbreaks related to raw milk, so it is really important, especially if you have young children, uh, others who are consuming milk, who are immunocompromised, that you do use a pasteurized, heat-treated milk. It's much safer. All milk is homogenized. Homogenized means that they've taken the liquid part of the milk and any fat in the milk, with regular milk having the highest percent fat, then there's 2% or 1%, and it's all mixed up. Otherwise, if milk was not homogenized, you'd have a separation of the liquid portion and that cream portion. So milk is homogenized really to make it more pleasant for the consumer so that you don't have this separated milk and that you don't need to shake it up before you drink it. Now sometimes you'll see on some containers of milk a label like this, we pledge not to treat our cows with the growth hormone RBST. It's very important to understand that these hormones are not present in the actual milk product when you see organic milk and it's made without antibiotics. Again, it's not that regular milk has antibiotics in the milk. This is more about the treatment of the cow. So in some instances, farmers will choose to treat a cow with a growth hormone that stimulates lactation. It stimulates the production of milk so that you get more milk per cow. It has nothing to do with the safety of the milk, but some people feel that that's not the appropriate way to treat a cow and they would prefer to buy milk from cows that are not treated with that growth hormone. Now another thing you can find in the grocery store is what's commercially sterile milk. This is milk that's been treated to a very high temperature for a very short period of time. Again, has more of that cooked flavor, but this milk does not need to be refrigerated until you open it. Once you open it, the same rules apply. You pop it open, then you need to put it in the refrigerator. You can't keep it at room temperature the whole time. So once you open it and stick it in the fridge, there are a couple bacteria that may just naturally get in there, start to grow. And so again, this has a, a life of about a week or so, and it says here, refrigerate after opening. Use contents within seven days of opening. One of the things we say in food safety is when in doubt, throw it out. So if you have any question about the safety of any type of food product, you smell it, it doesn't smell quite right, you start pouring it out, it's a little bit lumpy, it's best really to just get rid of it.